Pulsed radar blind speed. What is it? Well, let's just take a quick uh, simplified look. Um, we've got a, a radar sitting out here, and it's sending out pulses at a, a specific uh, interval. And we're going to call the uh, how many times this radar set sends out a pulse of energy in one second. We're going to call that the pulse recurrence frequency. For our uh, purposes here, we're going to say it has a pulse recurrence frequency of 800 pulses per second. Now, each one of those pulses is very short in duration. We're going to say they're one microsecond. And so what we're doing is we're sending out 800 times per second. We're sending out a one microsecond pulse of an oscillating frequency. And th these are going to be represented by these little sine waves here. And so we send a pulse out, and it goes out and hits everything in its path. Every time it hits something, that's reflected back. And uh, it'll hit this mountain. Let's say it's out at uh, 50 miles. And here's the return from it. Uh, what we do is uh, we're going to store one cycle, one pulse cycle from the time it goes out, depending upon our range is determined, and it comes back. We're going to store that for later comparison. How we store it depends upon the type of radar set. Uh, it, we can go way back, and I actually maintained one of these radar sets. Uh, it had a mercury delay line, and so that signal would just get bounced around in there uh, physically until it reached a certain point which was adjustable, and then that would be determined one full cycle. And then so we can compare the output of that delay line with an incoming signal. And if they are exactly uh, the same time, then they will be in phase. And you can see that represented here. Um, you know, our peaks and our troughs match up. And so what we can do, again, this is simplification, but what we do is we take uh, one signal and we'll invert it and then we run them through a comparator and if they match then they get cancelled. If they're out of phase then they don't get cancelled. So you can see here that if, if we want to turn on our moving target indicator and cancel out our fixed targets then um, we can do it like this. So let's add an airplane to the mix. And now we're going to look at the signal that's being returned from this aircraft. Also of course everything else in its path is still being returned. But uh, we're going to compare the first uh, pulse period here the aircraft hit the uh, signal here, returned, uh, returned this energy. This was the phase that hit the aircraft. And then the next period, uh, the, the phases changed. Why? Because the aircraft moved. And it interacted with the, the energy contacted it at a different spot, at a different time. And so it, it shifted the phase of the return signal. And if we invert this, then they will uh, actually match, and they don't cancel, um, and... I may have said that wrong, but but you get the idea. They're now saying, and so they don't cancel. And so the mountain is still getting canceled. The aircraft is not. We paint the aircraft on our scope. So what is blind speed? Well, blind speed, remember, this aircraft is still moving. And so let's say it's sped up now, such that um, this it's hitting even sooner now. In fact, it's now changed the phase so that they match. And if we invert this, now they'll cancel each other out. That's blind speed. So, depending on a certain speed of the aircraft, it can make it invisible to our radar. How, how do we deal with that? How can we correct that? Well, we can change the pulse recurrence frequency. You know, if we're sending out 800 pulses in a second, that creates a, a shorter duration between each pulse and a shorter distance the aircraft will travel before contacting another pulse. So let's say we change it to 500 pulses per second. We've now increased that distance. And so the aircraft will then hit the next pulse at a different uh, spot in time and therefore a different frequency. And so we've uh, alleviated the effects of blind speed. And we can, uh, we can also interleave. We can switch between those uh, intervals, the PRF. Uh, you know, 800, uh, a few 800s, a few 500s. And that way we get the best of both without having to deal with, uh, you know, one specific speed. So that's just a, a short and simple, simplified explanation of uh, blind speed.